What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 20MT coins, head on over to NBA MT Zone and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's good YouTube? <clears throat> it's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 Mighty video and guys, today we do have a market overview. We're going to go over a bunch of cards, uh, what I picked up, what you guys should do, what cards you should invest in and get ready for tomorrow. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. Before we get into it though, drop 20,000 MT in the comments, like the vid, sub if you are new, 100 likes on the video and we will give away 20,000 MT to a random subscriber. We might stream later, not totally sure, but I'm pretty sure we're only going to have one to two videos today. But um, yeah guys, make sure to drop that like, drop that sub. And guys, we are about 50 subs away from my New Year's goal of 3k. So make sure to smash that sub button. Uh, we need, I say we, we can honestly hit it today, so... Make sure to smash that sub button if you are watching. It'll help me out. It'll be greatly appreciated. And without further ado, let's talk about the market. So, <clears throat> big part of the market right now. Everyone is talking about Donovan Mitchell Diamond. And personally, I did pick him up myself. I got him for around 130k. I know. All right, listen. I'm on Xbox, so you guys must think I'm a bot. But he goes for like 140 on Xbox. I got him for like 130. I've been trying to get him for a buyout all day. It just hasn't worked out. But um, yeah, so I got him for a 130k bid. I'm simply waiting. I'm going to wait possibly a month, maybe even two weeks. We're going to see how much he goes up to. But he really should go up. He should go up to around... I don't know, man. I say he should go up to like 220k. But I'm not totally sure. That's one card you guys should probably pick up. I know a lot of you guys have been asking what moments did you buy. What moment... You can buy any moments you want. Whatever you think is going to go off. Personally, I think the worst one to buy is Clint Capella. Um, he's the worst one. He's terrible. He really has no value. I bought one Kyrie for around 40k. He's around 45 right now. He was 55 last night. Um, <clears throat> he's going to continue to rise. I might buy another one. He's also another good player to buy. Uh, I would recommend Kyrie because he's actually really rare. Let's go look at his set. Uh, he's really, he's extremely rare. Let's go check it out. So moments of the week. Which one is with Kyrie? Where's the Kyrie? Alright, so I guess Kyrie isn't in a set. That's weird. Where is this Kyrie? Is he separate? Like, what? Do I not have Kyrie? He's Nets, point guard, moments, moments 10. 25 19 i'm so confused so i guess he's not in a set but he's mad rare <clears throat> a lot of people do like Kyrie. i forgot he wasn't in the set i forgot where to find his car too but um yeah no this Kyrie's mad rare so i would honestly pick up a couple Kyrie's. i would pick up a couple of donovans if you have the mt i would pick up a spencer not a spencer dimity i would pick up any if you see any amethyst let me show you one second. If you see these amethysts right here, if you could snipe them out, bro, you're set. They're so rare. They are super rare. If you get one for like under 30k, you're set. You could possibly sell some for like 80k. SGA, you can get them for under 25k, you're also set. He's rocking around 30 something, 29 ish. So try to get him for like 25. That's a dub. So yeah, this set's mad expensive for Don Trey Young. Trey Young is like so loved in the community. We got Amethyst Tatum. This set is not worth it. I think this set is really bad. Malcolm Brogdon was expensive, but now he still is really expensive. But since they do have a Tatum diamond, he's not going to be that rare anymore. This set's decent. I'm trying to pick up a Devin Booker myself. And also, if you guys keep asking, bro, if you keep asking about what moments you should buy and all that good stuff, buy any moments you want. Literally, just wait. You got to wait. You got to wait a week or two, maybe even longer, because if you don't wait a week or two, you're not going to get anything good. You're just going to you're just going to lose your MT. You just got to be patient and don't don't waste your MT on any other cars besides moments right now. And tomorrow we do. We're going to have moments of the week uh, 10 tomorrow. So we're going to have those predictions out at about like 10 o'clock tomorrow. So hopefully we get a pink diamond as the collection award. I would love to see it. But other than that, not sure who we're going to get. Honestly, I'm kind of interested on i'm kind of like confused on who we're gonna see who we're gonna get and if they're gonna drop a pink diamond finally like i said they haven't dropped a pink diamond in really long weeks 
They haven't dropped reward cards in a lot. Like, they didn't even drop any reward cards in, like, three months since the games dropped. We could see new token cards this month. We could see some moment cards this month. But honestly, bro, let's see how many... Let's see how long it took. So, no pink diamond, no pink diamond, no pink diamond. They haven't dropped a pink diamond in one, two... It's in five weeks, bro. So, they're due for a pink diamond week 10. Um, no one really wants to see these terrible diamond cards. Like, honestly... We are just got. We just gotta be simply wait for a solid pink diamond, bro. Like if they drop another Levine, that set's gonna be mad rare. And as you can see, Donovan Mitchell. We gotta wait. Um, the packs are gone today. After today, these packs are gone. So I picked up. This is who I picked up. I picked up Pascal. I picked up Donovan. I picked up Cat. I picked up Devontae Graham. I have picked up. I picked up the Kyrie. I picked up a ton of things. And honestly, this set. Uh, this Clint Capella, a lot of people are asking about him. Honestly, I would not pick him up. You know why? First of all, his stats are terrible, okay? His post stinks. His mid-range game is terrible. He can't shoot. The only thing he do is dunk. He's small at 6'10". He's terrible. He has good rebounding, yeah. What's his What's his interior? His block is good. But I'm, not, I'm just saying. He's pretty much a budget Dwight Howard that isn't good. And he's too small at 6'10". So, I don't know. It's up to you. You could, you, and he only plays center, so he can't play power forward either. This card, in my opinion, is terrible. I don't think he's going to rise. If he rises, maybe 2, 3K, but probably one of the worst cards to look at. One card for budget ballers that I would pick up. Not really budget ballers, but Jokic is a pretty guard to look at, good card to look at. Bradley Beal is a pretty good card to look at. Um, but yeah, really, other than that, honestly, I might pick up a Beal myself, but I don't want to leave myself broke. Beal, <clears throat> Devin Booker, and Jokic. They're, um, if you could get Devin Booker for under 65k on Xbox, that's a dub. If you get Beal for under 35k, that's also a dub. But I'm trying to get Beal. I'm trying to get Jokic. I'm trying to get Booker. I'm trying to get D'Angelo Russell for like 80k. It's really hard. But uh, yeah, I like this Beal because he's really good at shooting. He's going to have a lot of value for a, lot, a long time. Um, pretty good card to look at. D book is a little expensive right now, but it's Devin Booker. He's a really hype beast card. They're probably not going to come out with another Devin Booker anytime soon. So let's look at his card. See if we get it for under 60 K 71 K not a good price. I would wait. Uh, if you have him, you should just wait. Cause he's going to be hundred K in no time. There's not a lot on the auction. Wait for Devin Booker to continue to rise. Another good card to look at that. The whole community loves is quality towns and Joel Embiid. I got myself a Joel Embiid, uh, let's see, I got myself a cat for around 40, he's around 48, and then 49, then 50 something, so, simply waiting for his price to go up, if you don't know, his 3 points really high, <clears throat> his defense <clears throat> is really bad though, but you know what, it doesn't matter, he's tall at 7 foot, he's gonna compete with a lot of centers, especially since that 3 is so good, and he's got quick draw and really good badges at a 93 diamond, he's gonna be loved in the community and also Joel Embiid's got really good stats um he went off against the Bucks he couldn't possibly get a pink diamond moments honestly I could see it coming but uh yeah the price of 40 something K I got him for 38k not too long ago but then I sold him but yeah he's around 48k try to buy him for under 45k his price will probably rise to 60k comparing him to Yao Ming he's honestly really close which is kind of crazy like really like he has a better driving dunk his, his defense is probably going to be a little bit better. Yeah, like, dude, he's mad close to Yao Ming. And his perimeter is way better than Yao Ming. He's faster than Yao Ming. His rebounding is somewhat similar. This is literally budget Yao Ming. And it's budget by a lot. It's budget by about 100K. So, yeah. Also, you guys have been asking about Yao Ming. Do I sell him now or later? Um, There's 10 minutes left on this card. Realistically, he's going to probably be 140K regardless. I would uh, simply wait, man. Yao Ming is probably the best center in the game, if not the second, third best, besides like David Robinson. So, I don't know. It's up to you. I'm personally keeping mine. I believe when these packs are gone, I don't know when, in about four days, 23 hours, I would say that that's a good time to sell. But other than that, I would hold on to my Yao Ming. I'll be holding on to most of my cars. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to show you everything I bought. So, I bought Peja. I bought Stockton. I bought three Wilts. I bought Kyrie. I bought Yao Ming. I bought Carl Anthony Towns. I have a ton of heat checks to sell. We got a Pascal. We got a Clint Capella. We got an Earl Monroe. We got a Donovan Mitchell. So these are all the cards I bought. 
If you guys want to follow my footsteps, you could go ahead and do it. I also bought Jerry West. I bought a Paul Pierce. I actually bought a couple of Paul Pierces. I also bought a Devontae Graham. So a lot of cards I did buy waiting for their prices to go up. If you guys want to follow me, let me know. If you do, also let me know. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're going to have a lot. We're going to have a big pack opening possibly tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a good one. Peace.